Okay, you're right, people. This is my first ever unboxing of anything, and my camera's not the best, but I'm hoping to upgrade in the future. But without further ado, as you can see by the title, this is the Thermotech Suppressor F31. Now, I'm upgrading my PC rig as we speak, and I wanted it as silent per performance as possible. Now, this is potentially, I think, the best budget silent sin PC case you can get. Okay, I got it over the United Kingdom for £57.78 or for American £71.38 US dollars, which I cannot stress is amazing value for what you're going to get. And I'm going to hopefully show you by just a nice simple unboxing but as you can see the case is nice sturdy well built together for a budget case okay so you can see it's going to be quite minimalistic design for what it is but let's have a little look hey if you're unboxing with a knife please be careful okay and then he says that and then he cuts himself so let's open her up and hopefully not cut the PC case itself, but I was pleasantly surprised I got this through Amazon, through Thermotech themselves. Was expecting it to arrive four days. It arrived the next day. I am just astonished with that. But nice little invoice. Can never fault with that. But this case is a monster of a case. Okay, this is a mid ATX tower, near enough a full tower. But there's so many so many good things about it it's definitely worth if you've got the space get it okay so as you can see well packaged for budget okay sometimes you want bubble wrap you know a bit better plastic but for a budget and it's fairly light to a certain extent it's more size than weight with this one so Come on, Betsy, play ball for me today. However, we've got these little flaps that you can put your fingers in to obviously carry it. When you're getting it out, I learned the hard way. I was struggling for ages trying to get the case out of a previous build that I'd done. And going, why on earth is this not working? Stupid flaps were in, weren't they? Me just being a normal human being didn't think. Now see, come straight out like a glove. And is this the top side? I believe this is the top side. So, nice perspex packaging. Let's pop that off. That's the. Oh, it's actually. We got the bottom. <laughs> you can see I'm great with anatomy. But pretty thick. As you can see, pretty thick plastic uh, polyester, which is good. Nice. Um, sheet all over. So pull that bit up and place these to one side. Manual, okay. So as I said, I'm going to be making a PC in this case in the future. So if you like, I'll do a video of actually putting it together. And that's obviously explaining what's in the case. But let's get this up. I do apologize if it makes a nasty noise on the recording. Okay, now here is the case in all its glory. I'm trying to angle it up nicely to the webcam. So, at the top here, I don't know if you can actually see, you've got your power button, you've got your reset button, microphone, head jack, headphone jack. Obviously, your power processing light, it fades me. And then two USB 3, two USB 2 buttons, or ports, I should say. And then you look, the front is minimalistic, okay? They are going proper silencing. Now on the top, you may be able to see, you may not be able to see it, there's actually this mesh. Well, this mesh is magnetic. Now come on, how do you get that in a budget PC case? But the nice thing is, I'll open her up in a bit, but there's all this ventilation down here but it's actually at the moment is sealed off to reduce noise. So you can obviously put fans up here, 
um, I believe it's three lots of 120s, three lots of 140s, some cooling system up here. So you have that option. Let's place that back down there, but that's a nice touch to have it magnetic. Now, on the front, you're going, wait a minute, what about um, drives and things like that? Now here, if you want to play ball, please, it's magnetic. You've got sound dampening mesh here. You've obviously got your um, additions for drives to be put in here. So you can actually have like a Blu-ray drive, a CD drive, anything like that. I know it's not commonplace to have drives, but I still use them because I like to play some of the old school games that you can't sometimes download. Watch a DVD that I've got that's not streamable, that kind of thing. But then, filtration. Pop out, please. So you've got some form of filtration as well. And it comes with a 120 fan, intake fan. And as you can see, it's quite robust and it's nice and easy. I'm able to actually take it apart while trying to remember what to say. <laughs> so, magnetic hatch, nice and clean. Now, if we see by the back side, ventilation here and plain. And then, I would say the front side, as people would see it. I went for the non-windowed edition. I want it as silent as possible, but you can spend, I believe, an extra £10 to get a windowed variant if you want to show that off for a performance enthusiast. But you obviously have an intake here. That's obviously blocked off at the moment. You can put, I believe it's a 110 or 140 fan there. Obviously, you've got your filtration magnetized as well, which is amazing. They've really, really pushed the boat out. Another intake side bit. Let's look around at the back. Hope you're all being able to enjoy the video as much as possible. So, you've got an outlet of 120, but it's adjustable, which is really, really nice. That you can actually, there's little slots here that you can adjust it up and down to make room if you want a big rad up here, which is lovely. But also, if you've got water cooling system, they've put grommets here. You don't get that in a budget build, budget PC case. Plenty of space here, plenty of slots for any graphic card, wireless cards, sound cards, recording cards, plenty of space there. Obviously your space as well for your power supply. And as you can see here, these are thumbtacks, which are gonna be an absolute pain. I know they are because it's the first time ever taking it out. So you're probably gonna to have to hold with me a moment while I grab a screwdriver. At the moment, I've recently moved a little while ago, so I've still got tools all over the place. So bear with me. But yeah, obviously unscrew it. It's just to make sure that it's nice and careful and um, don't lose the screw. But while I'm unscrewing this, as you see here, you may not be able to pick it up in the actual video. I do apologize with the resolution, but there's actually a little, let's just say a loop. So if you go to a LAN tournament or anything like that and you've got some nice gear in your actual setup or as well, as in a keyboard, mouse, all those peripherals, you can actually loop it into your system, put it and actually put it through this little um, loop there that you can actually unscrew on the inside, hook your cables through and just look after your stuff. But these are these little ones here unscrewed. So let's see what she has on the inside. Hopefully some nice stuff to show off, but it's nice and rigid, I can feel it already. So, slide it off and there is some weight to it. I warn you now, it's solid, but see all that soundproof in there, okay? Or sound dampening, I should say. This ain't gonna make it soundproof, but it's gonna definitely dampen the sound, all right? So let's place that down there so it doesn't get damaged. But they went for fully modulus with this one here. Fully modulus. 
you've obviously got your quick releasing up here for your drives. Then you've obviously got your modulus hard drive port or ports, I should say, casing, so you can have your three and a half or two and a half drives of whatever you'd like. So obviously three and a half, so you just pop the side, pop them in, done. Two and a half, you screw it in. Easy as that. And then just pop them straight in. But you can also undo some screws on all of this and you can gut it. You can fully just gut it and do as bare bones as you wish. But you may have noticed while I've been blabbering on, there's grommets all over the place. Plenty of amazing options for cable management in here. So you can literally route your cables all over the place in here. But I'll see if I can unscrew the back to actually show you one of the bonuses for actually all this grommet work. And that is there is so much space back here for actually cable managing everything. But I may cut it here and fast forward a moment for you. All right, so I'm back. I've unscrewed the sides. Ooh, another thick bit of sound dampening. Now, before I forget, on the windowed edition, you're not going to get the sound dampening on the windowed side. So that is why I went for that. But you can see, if I can actually show it on the camera, there's a bit of flex in it, but I not as much as you would expect for a budget. So let's move that a minute. But back here, there is so much space. I cannot say, show you how much space there is, but look, if you can see by my finger, all right, it's going back to, let's measure it up. You've got that much space in there, okay? So that is some depth because the cable in here, that's already set up. That's only half filling it. You can then fit two and a half inch drive, two and a half inch drive, two and a half inch drive, or three and a half, three and a half, three and a half. There is so much space back here to just make it as tidy as possible, help your air flow, keep it as cool as possible, and as silent as possible. Okay, so I'm just going to skip ahead again, put it all together, and just give you an idea of the sound dampening quality. See you in a minute. Ah, you're right there. So apologize for stop starting. I've put the backside back on. But before I forget, this this system can hold motherboards of mid ATX to full ATX. The power supply has got little feet bits here that you can fit them nice and snug and they've got like nice cushion in there. So it stops vibrations, which causes noise in. But also you can take this all out, as I said, fully modulars, and there is an accessory pack where you can actually place a shielding over this. So you can fully enclose, enclose it in and put more additional two and a half inch drives on top. But you may be asking, what's the spacing for graphics cards? Now I've acquired a HD 7950, three gigabyte OC edition. So you can see, that's quite some size to it. Now at the moment in my current rig that's recording this, I am using an R7260X, which is about two thirds of the size, if that. If I place it up in here, you have got plenty of space. Okay, you can even go probably a good third as much longer to fit them in nicely. So let's place that back before I accidentally drop it and go, oh crap, I damaged my graphics card. But also with the thumb screws on the shielding, let's see if I can actually show you that. It's actually got it that it'll stay in place. So I can easily just place them up here, he says, without looking like a, a fool, and screw it in place along here. And it's fairly robust. That's the nice thing. I can fully lean on this case and know it's not going to break. And that's why I can't emphasize it enough. For a budget case, that silencing well, has the potential to silence and suppress noise. With all this option for modulus fitting and cable management is astonishing. Now, I haven't got the PC parts at the moment 
to actually put it in here and show you the sound difference. But what I'm going to use is the ringtone on my phone to show the kind of noise it produces now. Hopefully show you how it's going to hopefully dampen the sound. We shall see. <laughs> so let's start it off. So, okay, so I'm not sure how that will pick up in the actual recording, well, pardon me, but it should reduce the noise. Now, obviously, some of the noise was still coming out the back. My phone's having a bit of a funny moan. Still coming out the back because I didn't have the motherboard shield and I didn't have the power supply. So once those two gaps are filled, that will reduce quite a bit of noise. But also, as a proviso, if your rig is extremely noisy already, this will help reduce it, but it's not gonna get rid of it, okay? So that is gonna be for another video on how to actually reduce sound as much as possible in your rig. So I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Hope you are all gonna look forward to me actually making a PC in this one. So you all take care. Chaos out. What is this dirty moonshine of which you speak?